talk about shortening the season or you know making things faster it, it, in baseball. Like how tough. you feel about all that? So okay, a you do not need to uh, speed up the game. That whole idea is just ridiculous to me. I remember as a kid, the game being slower, and this is the greatest game ever. I mean, if you look at the '90s kids, I don't think I was in my own little bubble. We loved baseball. It was a really popular time with kids. My generation loved baseball, too. We all grew up playing Little League. And it was a slower game than now. You know, there's nothing innately wrong with it. There are certain things I think are better, keeping the batters inside the batter's box. Me too. I agree with that. Little things like that. The manager visits, I think that's an interesting point. I like that they cut those down. I like that. It's it's actually one of those things I think that people, that uh, the teams aren't using enough. They're too worried to use them. And Mm. then there are many times when you need to talk to the pitcher that no one is because, oh, we only have five left. Like, you don't, you're not going to use them. Yeah. You're yeah. going to have three left at the end of it, you know? Uh, it's like getting five timeouts for one quarter or something, and you don't use a timeout. you got to save all five. Like, what are you talking about? Just use right. It. Yeah. Use right. It. Uh, but uh, th- those little things are great. Pitch clock, no. Get out of here. <laughs> that, that, oh, my God. No. Well, you, could, fi- you could really hear the disdain, the disdain you that, had for that. That just bothers me so much because they're, no, they're really it, – it's you take the, – the best part about baseball is the tension. The tension I agree. between I agree, every yeah. single pitch, especially in the playoffs. Playoffs. I'm getting closer the, to juice I ball agree. talk. I, I did this on purpose, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm I with you, you on that. That's the beauty of baseball. It's the tension, between, especially right. in the playoffs. That's the, why we love playoff baseball. One of the baseball. greatest yeah. games uh, that I've ever seen is is the bug bug game. I don't know if you remember this 2007 yeah, uh, yeah. playoffs yeah, 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 with yeah, the Indians yeah. and the Yankees. Jabba uh, Jabba. Fausto Car- Carmona was on the other side. It was Andy Pettit for six innings, I believe. And then Jabba Chamberlain came yep. in and uh, – the midges, or were the, the, or the, yeah, I think that's what they were called. The, the, the bugs, the were, little yeah. tiny bugs, just yeah. swarmed him, and it changed the entire. I don't know how that game wasn't suspended for a moment or whatever, but fine, that, that game happened. But I think a lot of people forget that that was a one nothing game because Andy Pettit for five plus innings, I think it was five or six, was amazing in getting out of jams. That was that should have been a five run game for the Indians. It was only one, and bases loaded jams. He was getting out of them. There was an offense, but there was a Nate tension every single pitch. It took 30 seconds or so, not the 15 or 20 that they want, which is ridiculous. Uh, you felt it every single time, and then we'd get that ground ball. And it was just as, as a fam watching this, we want guys on base because it's more fun adding yes. the tension to it. And it, not, not necessarily the runs on the board. Who cares necessarily? It's just about what's happening every single pitch. How are they doing it? And, I mean, for me personally, it's obviously different because – I, I see the game less so as an event that is like, this is a single, this is a walk, this mm. is a strikeout, a home run, whatever. I see it pitch by pitch. I mean, we, Brian, we watched games. Yeah. That's Tanaka start. Yeah. We were predicting each pitch that was happening, right? Yeah. You, you found actually how easy it was. Yeah. You understood, you know, oh, right, he doesn't have a splitter now. You just bounce that one. He doesn't have confidence in it. He's going to throw his slider in his fastball. Oh, man, is Devers going to hit that or not? He threw like seven straight sliders for balls. Right. <laughs> and but that's the thing. He couldn't execute it down and in because that's what he's trying to do. Yes. And the more that you understand those things, mm. oh, man. It is, is there's not enough time to really like talk about everything that's going on in between each pitch. So if they want to shorten that, no, don't take that away from me. I, I'm I'm with it's, but the, it's but they're but they're not the, but, but the problem is like when they when they talk about shortening it too, they're not catering to you. They're trying to cater to the quote unquote average person, and the average person I don't think is going to care about a lot of what you're talking about. I think you're right. Um, I will say the average person was me as a kid, and that was no problem in the first place. Second, I would say, don't try and shorten it. Try and educate. Try and elevate the people. Try and be like, this is what's going on. Let me say this, and too. And get people that are broadcasting it to help teach you, like, oh, yeah, this guy's going to try and throw the this The education is an interesting point. Yeah, and of all the leagues that have their own channel, NBA TV, MLB Network, MLB Network is easily the best one and most informative out of all of them. NHL, NFL Network, MLB is easily the best channel. And I think if more people watch that, they get into baseball more. I, I think they do a fantastic They're job. Great. I, I think – societally we're at this this point where we choose to not educate as much and try to like let's for lack of a better term dumb it down right yeah, sure. or, yeah make it, or make it anything easily digestible um yeah. easier for you to consume they're like that with media time. with music yeah everything and, and that mm-hmm. that part of it bothers me it's interesting because you're not this you're and I, I think nick is not this guy who's like oh man i didn't want to do anything to speed up the game at all like he's with me on the same page we like the 
uh, amount of mound visits because I feel like sometimes that gets to be a bit too much, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, yeah. you like keeping the batters inside the box and so stepping out and everybody adjusting their, you know, their gloves <laughs> and stuff. I Ridiculous. thought those things I thought were too much. Yep. Yeah. But th- yeah, I'm not a fan. I can of, get I'm it from a, f- a routine perspective. Though. I got it, but get stay, a new you stay in the box. Stay get in the a box. New get a new <laughs> routine. Get a new routine, and you go. can yeah. adjust. People. Well, yeah, you could just move to the other side of the box, take a swing real yeah, quick. Right. Yeah, right. It's easy. It's like in the NBA. I didn't. I didn't mind them saying like, "Hey, you can't go past the the key or the three point line when you step out for a free throw." Because he had dudes like Russell Westbrook who were walking a half court yeah. and coming back. Like, yeah. come on. And his free throw percentage uh, has gone down gone since. Down. But I, I don't know what you're talking about, yeah. but I do. <laughs> <laughs> right, because it's in the same vein, right? It's in the same vein of that. And so. Well, you know, I but think, you know basketball, though. You know Russell no, Westbrook. No, right? I'm no, I'm playing into this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was yeah. Say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in, obviously in the same vein, I think that, look, we, we can make things uh, more efficient. We can still like, but, like, be likable, but yes, you can still educate. I think that's a great point, right? Yeah. You can understand Learning's the supposed intricacies to be fun. of the game, why the tension is good. I think you were able to clearly explain that. Other people could do that and say, oh, man, maybe I'll look at this playoff baseball game and understand – why between this this two one count with two outs in the bottom of the sixth and the base is loaded? Why this thirty or forty five seconds before he throws his pitch? What he's thinking about? How he's communicating with his catcher? Why all that matters? So right? Good. I mean, the innate I think it's great. is just the best part about baseball. Well, one of my favorite quotes is that once you realize that time is measured in outs, eternity is just a single away, where you just got to keep. Ooh, who getting. said who said that? I don't remember it. I, I don't like remember that, it, but I love it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm maybe even paraphrasing it, but that's essentially it. It's just like as there's no set clock. Yes, there's a l- lower chance of doing well. Of course, I mean, it's 22 to 1, and you're down to one out left. Right. Fine, you're not going to win that game. <laughs> right. But the innate, just there's, n- there's always time. You always need to throw the ball over the plate. Earl Weaver said that one. you got to give the guy right. his opportunities. So, uh, so I love that innate part about baseball, and the more that you want to – yeah, as you said, dumb it down for people. I, I understand. Uh, yeah, as a culture, that's what we do now. We want the shallow level. We want to do less. There's, our attention is is so valuable now. There's all these things trying to grab it more so than ever. Yeah. And so you have to appeal to that. But it's ruining it for guys like me. I mean, I guess I'm old school in that way of just <laughs> this. This is such a beautiful sport.